penultimate presentation of the 2019 Innovation Live Shortlist presentations, and we're joined on the stage by Inez, Jamie, <laughs> copywriter, and Johnson on King for This Is A Treat. This is a tree. It takes more than 10 years for it to become mature enough to clean the air. This is also a tree. And this one. A tree. Another tree. It takes one day to paint one using a Boysen Noxat, a special smog eating paint that cleans the air. One square meter of Noxat painted surface cleans as much nitrogen oxide as one mature tree. These artworks were painted along one of Manila's busiest highways, where there's practically no trees and it's almost impossible to plant new ones. Every day, these fully grown trees reduce air pollution by 20%. Today, over 6,000 square meters of the city's walls have been painted using Boysen Noxat. Now, planting fully grown trees can happen in the smallest of spaces overnight with Boysen. Just introduce our company a little bit. Uh, Boysen is the number one paint company in the Philippines. And as far as environmental innovation, we're trying to change the go beyond the current paradigm of our industry, which is if you've been to a paint shop, you've probably seen a lot of the paint that says it's friendly for the environment. And what, what they're really trying to say is it doesn't it does as little harm as possible. We're trying to push that envelope further and actually come up with products that can help improve the environment, make it better and in the process empower people to use paint to address some of the environmental issues we face today, such as, in this example, air pollution, climate change, I'll mention a little bit, and uh, even marine biodiversity. So, last year we were awarded the most uh, sustainable company, or sustainable company of the year by the Global Responsible Business Leadership Awards in Malaysia. And uh, in the Philippines, we were the first company to be uh, accredited responsible care and uh, have our manufacturing facility uh, ISO 14001. In the 70s, we were the first company in the Philippines to phase out mercury, and uh, uh, we, were, we were one of the first two companies in the world to have uh, lead safe paint certification. That's an independent uh, certification program that validates that all our paint products meet the strictest global standards for lead content. In terms of climate change, we have uh, developed a new product called Cool Shades. It's a special heat reflective coating that we say we, we like to say transforms your ordinary roof into a reflector, so that it reflects sunlight back into outer space. So you're not only cooling your home, but you're also in fact cooling, helping cool the planet. In terms of uh, I mentioned marine biodiversity, where we've donated uh, 14,000 gallons of paint the past year to the United Nations Development Program in their efforts to uh, color code fishing uh, boats of individual villages so that to minimize poaching and conserve our marine resources. So going back to air pollution, in 2010 we introduced uh, Napsound, which uh, is the first paint in the world with uh, crystal active photocatalytic technology. And when, I, when we say smog eating paint, it's because smog is made up of two components, nitrogen oxides and oils, and VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Those two uh, under heat, combined to form ground level smog. So if you, we have, we have a lot of tests that prove, and I'll go through some of them with you, that prove that this, this product can eliminate both NOx and DOC, so it can eliminate smog from forming in the first place. 
And what Noxout essentially does is it transforms any painted surface into a solar power air purifier. It uses the power of sunlight to uh, break down nitrogen oxides or other pollutants coming out of your tail exhaust from your car and converts them to harmless substances. Uh, I'll show you a short video that uh, elaborates on the technology. Well, the special ingredient in crystal active, which is titanium dioxide, in the presence of ultraviolet light, molecules of air pollutants and particulates, which arrive at a surface that is treated with a photocatalyst, are destroyed and are easily washed away. Its ability to destroy air pollution, such as NOx, has been well documented in the literature and scientific press for a number of years now. But what's new and unique about the crystal active product is that we've managed to stabilise the product so it can be used in many different applications, such as clear coatings, paints, and building materials. So together with Crystal, we, we did the world's largest uh, air, uh, trial of air, air cleaning paints in the world in this uh, metro rail station along the busiest and most polluted roadway in the Philippines. And sure enough, we found that, uh, that uh, the paint was taking significant amount of knocks. In fact, uh, uh, we found that it was taking about 20% of the uh, NOx in, it was reducing the NOx levels by about 20% in that area, which is equivalent of about 30,000, uh, cleaning the exhaust of about 30,000 cars passing through that area. So in, 20, in 2012, we used NOx out to, to launch, uh, uh, to create the largest air filter in the country. 6,000 square meters using, or 5,000 square meters, using uh, Noxa for a project Noxa, which we called the Everyone Deserves Safe Air project. Noxa was named one of the uh, seven Asian innovations in their innovations program. And the Philippines is, to my knowledge, one of the only country in the world, is the only country in the world where ordinary people can buy smog eating, smog cleaning paint in a normal, in a off the shelf in a store so that they can help clean the uh, air in their neighborhoods. And just as the Philippines introduced a concept of people power revolutions all over the world, what we're trying to push globally is the idea that people can use paint to clean the air. And to date, uh, we, have seven, we have 17 countries in, all over the world that have introduced, where we've introduced an outside council. Uh, Lima, Peru is actually one that has really uh, embraced this concept of using art to create air cleaning artworks all over the city. They even have probably today more artworks than we have in the middle. Air cleaning. There's the mayor of uh, Sakai City in Japan near Osaka that uh, is helping uh, streetcar stops with Naksa. This is a shell facility in Hamburg. And this is a, a hospital in Mexico that used Naksa that. Um, generate a lot of media attention and also some notable tweets. So before 2018, all of our campaigns for Knocks Out didn't actually communicate um, its cleaning power. So our challenge for the 2018 installment of the campaign was to finally visualize to the public the cleaning power of Knocks Out. So we turned to research and after the latest tests, we discovered a unique quality to Knocks Out. And that is that one square meter of Knox Out painted surface has the equivalent cleaning power of a mature tree. So Crystal actually calculated that the Knox Out paint can clean up to 0.5 grams of nitrogen oxide per square meter per day, which is actually higher than the 0.42 grams per day that the average mature tree can absorb. So this insight actually solves the problem of waiting 10 whole years for a tree to mature enough to clean the air. And more importantly, in our country, it solves the problem that there's simply no space to grow more trees because any fertile land where we can grow more trees is now being used for urban developments like malls, roads, condominiums. Uh, planting trees wasn't really a priority. So what did we do? We painted trees overnight using Boys and Knocks Out. This is the project's innovation. We painted one square meter artworks, each with the cleaning power of one mature tree, and it was painted in the city itself. So the artworks were inspired by Belgian surrealist artist René Magritte, and this is famous painting, this is not a pipe. He said that even though you see a pipe, it's not a pipe, it's only an oil painting on canvas, because you can't pack it with tobacco or smoke it. So coming from that, these, however, are trees. Because even though you see items like food, toys, or animals, 
They are in fact trees because they're painted with poison ox out and they have the cleaning power of a mature tree. So this bird is a tree, this koi fish is a tree, even this toaster is a tree. So the mural measured 40 square meters long and 3 meters high and it was put on C5. C5 is Metro Manila's most polluted, busiest, and virtually treeless highways in the city. And the mural measured 100 square meters. It's large enough to create an impact on our pollution levels. So to date, 6,000 square meters of the city's walls have been painted with knocks out. And until today, even the smallest of spaces are being painted with trees overnight. And this is how Boysen painted trees overnight for cleaner air. So this is a tree. Um, thank you very much. Um, amazing. Um, I love a lot of technologies, so um, it's pretty amazing. So you see you're saying one penny for one square meter is a metro tree. So a new definition of a metro tree. What is a metro tree? Is it like? Oh my, yeah, metro tree, metro it's ten years, yes. Ten years, okay. Ten years. Um, yeah, if you want to get very specific, it's 62 to 76 centimeter breast diameter height. And it, this color is also work, this paint color is color's also working for my indoor apartments, right? So does it have any effects of my living indoor as well? Yeah, actually for indoors, the what it needs is UVA light to activate the paint. So indoors today, uh, most UV lights don't actually have, uh, most LED lights don't have a UV component. The fluorescent lights used to have it. But we're working now and we we're working with a lights company and we'll have this out by the end of the year so that this technology can be deployed indoors. This will be really interesting because for me as an Asian, living in Asia because of the fine dust, it's a huge topic for sure. So yeah. I like the way you visualize the campaign. That's really lovely with the Magritte influence. My question would be, is the Knox Out paint the undercoat or does it come in all the colors that allows you to do the actual illustrations? Right, it, it's, the, it's the paint that actually has the colors. That, uh, okay, so it wasn't, the actual Knox paint wasn't covered over by illustrations, no. that is the actual paint. That's the actual paint. Okay. Uh, question. Do you have a competitor, so is a proprietary technology or do you have another vendors or another producer that have the same components? So how unique is your, your, your technology? And there is like expiring date or they last forever? Yeah. So they affect that they have like expiring date or last forever? Yeah, so I'll answer the second question first. So uh, this, this uh, technology, this process is called photocatalysis. So photo is light and cat a catalyst is something that quickens a chemical reaction but does not get used up. So the, that's a really neat part of this product is it, 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 as long as there's light, it keeps working. And there's no sort of expiration date to it. As long as the paint's on the surface, it stays on. Now most people repaint things after five or 10 years. But if, if the, the, um, the longest uh, paint we've had so far is 10 years and it's still going well. So it depends on your taste. If, if you like it, you can still keep on it. Um, as far as uh, competitors, there are products out there that sort of make similar claims, not many, but um, we are up to today the only uh, product of this nature that's uh, partnered with Crystal Active, which, uh, and we're the only ones who've really done the, the scientific studies, both on the laboratory level and on the real life scale deployment level. Um, is the tech patented? Is it tech pa patented if, if yes, who owns the IP? Yes. That's, that's the first question. And I have a really, because um, I think it would be really cool if you guys could maybe really think about, it would be really great if we could have all the murals in the world painted with this technology, right? Um, is it also workable or does the technology or, or the, does paint retain that characteristic if you guys, for instance, turned it into a spray can so that all the graffiti artists could use it all over the world? Has, is that a possibility? Yeah, so uh, the first question, I'm sorry, the first question was again, uh, I'll answer the second one first. The IP. Uh, the IP, the, IP uh, the patents are, are yes, uh, the patents are owned by Crystal and we work with them so that's why we, we have a co-branding agreement arrangement with them. Uh, they're not a paint manufacturer, they, they make the, the Crystal Active titanium dioxide so we use that component incorporated here. Uh, uh, the second question, yes, we are working with a company in Spain actually to 
to get them into sp uh, spray paint because we've had ever since uh, people have seen these uh, artworks online we, we've really been inundated by a lot of requests to do similar air cleaning artworks in, in really different parts of the world so we think it's something that if you're going to paint something anyway you might as well use paint that can clean the air yeah thank you this is really inspiring so um, I understand you're doing kind of a verification or studies, but are there skeptics out there? Are there any third parties that just question your claims? Um, and if so, how are you thinking about managing that? Yeah, uh, yeah. the first point is people can't see it working, right? I mean, so you need to, before we even launch the product, we have to do the trial first. And uh, so if we, if we get people into a room and we can share the science with them, they come out convinced. Right? They, they, under, they can understand what, what's going on. Uh, we do have uh, a little bit of that it's too good to be true kind of thing at first, but I think because, uh, because we've had the, uh, the, the Manila Absorbity Observatory, which is the leading air quality institute in the Philippines, do the trial for us. And Crystal has also done studies with, in Europe uh, here where, in fact, there's one going on right now in Spain that's, again, third-party validated, and that's sort of addressed all those concerns. Any validation in states like California where the green curve is arguably a lot more advanced and obviously small pollution levels are very high? Not yet. We have an art installation in Miami that was done in, in okay. a festival last year. We have a partner in the U.S., and we're, we can certainly look into doing that. And this technology is, is very validated by NASA, actually, the U.S. to use it up in their stations to help clean the air in their right? spaces and that can, yeah. I, I, can, I can show you that. Right. The technology. The technology. Um, right now it's a um, mainly art project. Is it scalable? And if not, why? What it's about pricing and also about advertising. Could it be used like in billboards and some digital printing maybe? How you can scale it and what are the barriers to make it bigger than an art book? Yeah, so the, the artworks are actually the ones that generate the most attention, but I mean, we're a paint company in the day, and most people, so we have a lot of people using this uh, in their buildings, and sort of the, the idea is, what we're trying to tell people is, you know, most of us, we, we're, we're um, used to the idea of having a carbon footprint, but uh, we, we might not be conscious of that, all of us, since we use motor vehicles, we also leave a NOx footprint out there. And right now, there's really nothing we can do to clean that up. I mean, you can plant trees, but you need to plant a lot of trees to uh, do the same thing as, as what this paint can do. So what we're trying to, we've, we've worked with a lot of companies to do this as sort of their, uh, as part of their corporate social responsibility programs to paint, whether they like artworks because it's very visible, uh, but other, other companies, logistics companies have painted in their, in their warehouses uh, this we've had uh, municipalities and cities in the Philippines that's painted it on uh, sort of street dividers, uh, that kind of thing. So most of the business, most of the paint is actually used on on buildings, homes, that kind of thing. Uh, billboards is very very good. It's something we we've, we've uh, certainly thought about, but it's not used yet. But uh, it's 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 something we've certainly thought about. Yes. It's an amazing. I I I'm just it brings hope. You know, it's a it's a really good idea, and I'm. I'm um, um, maybe you are concerned with that there is other competitors doing similar things, but I think it's, everyone should do this. And we're talking, it's almost like we're talking like a B2C product. This should definitely be on the, on the horizon of every contractor, right? So is there a pricing that they shy away from? Or because you've been doing this for almost 10 years. Right. And you've done 6,000 square meters. Well, sorry, the 6,000 square meters are only the artworks. So there, there's, a, there's a lot more we didn't put in how many buildings and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, certainly in the Philippines, there is the, uh, and I guess globally, uh, in the Philippines, this is about, again, the challenge is getting people to understand that you're buying an air purifier and not a paint. If people look at the price tag and compare it to just a paint that sort of is there to add color or help protect a, a substrate, um, they're doing that math and they're gonna buy a paint. But if we tell them, look, you're buying an air purifier and because it's solar powered, you don't even have to plug an energy source. It just cleans the air every day. I love, I love your pitch, but what's the pricing component? Oh, so it's about three times more than, than normal. 
but it's, it's a challenge to get people to understand that. That they're buying an air purifier and not buying a pain. I think time is on your side. <laughs> I, I tell them the pain is free if you're buying an air purifier. Yeah. Now, just one last question regarding the this entry in particular. Uh, what you're asking us to judge is not the pain technology, right? It's the campaign of showing those beautiful artworks in the street. Just to clarify yourself in the rest of the yes, To help people understand how, how effective this product right. is. Right, because your pain product exists since a very, like a fair amount of time, right? It was yes, online in 2012. Yes. So, yeah. so. Yeah. Good question. Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.